guys, how you doing? I thought I'd answer some people's questions who want to convert their 2015 regular X8 series quadcopters into the 2016 altitude hold feature versions without having to buy the uh, whole new drone. Side by side here I have the uh, 2015 normal controller with the normal receiver board and on the right I have the altitude hold controller with the altitude hold receiver board which has the barometer sensor inside it. Uh, on the left starting with the receiver board if you notice in the center there's a little brown square right next to the screw hole. Over here on the altitude hold you'll notice a green square that is the barometer sensor. That is the only difference between these two except some minor programming for controlling the quadcopter. Now when you do buy a new receiver board it does not come with any wires except the power wire. So that means over here you're going to have to unsolder the power switch that has the 3.5 millimeter camera power jack and you have to unsolder all the motor wires if you noticed I do not have any of the wires on here for the LED lights those are connected by little connectors but another thing is they're hot glued on there so you have to be careful when you're trying to take these apart and take the hot glue off before you can pull them off the receiver board. Moving on to the controller, if you notice this is the regular controller, your left control stick moves freely up and down, left and right has a spring to center it. On the altitude hold feature, the left controller has a spring to center the left, right, and the up and down. That is the only difference between the two controllers. I do not recommend using this to control the hover hold, I'm sorry, the altitude hold feature uh, due to the fact that it doesn't have the auto centering and it, uh, it's a little more difficult to control. Um, also there is uh, control differences to start and stop your rotors. Um, read the instructions on how to do that if you uh, buy the quadcopter hole. You can also download it on the SEMA website. But make sure when you download it, you download the uh, SEMA series that has the letter H in it. doesn't matter if it's the X8C or the X8G or the X8W. So as long as they have an H in it, it'll be the correct instructions for the altitude hold feature. Alright, and again, thanks a lot for watching this. Hope you guys have uh, useful information out of it. Thank you.